It's Saturday morning in Johannesburg, and art gallery owner David Brody gets on with selling art to the people. It's been his life. A degree in fine art was followed by a spell as curator at Johannesburg Art Gallery. He's finding in these difficult economic times, getting people to part with their money is tough. I think that there has certainly been a slowdown, um, but I don't think that it's been any kind of catastrophe at this stage. And I think like many other industries, I think galleries are um, biding their time, are treading water, are coming up with creative ways of dealing with the, with the crunch, um, hoping that there will be an upturn that, that's on the horizon quite soon. What makes it more difficult is that the market in South Africa is very small. A mere 250 serious collectors ready to splash the big money and only around 800 ready to spend up to 50,000 rand on just one piece. The art galleries may be struggling in this credit crunch, but the auctioneers, like this small one here in Bordeaux in Johannesburg, say that business has never been better. In the bidding here with a commission bid of 2,000, then two and a quarter. Do we have two and a half anywhere? Two and a half do we have on the phone? Six and a half. Six is on the book, selling at 6,000 rand. BK. Russell Kaplan is one of many auctioneers operating in Johannesburg, competing with the big players like Sotheby's. Surprisingly enough, in these trying times, business has never been better. We're sensing at the moment a boom in the auction industry. People who normally wouldn't have sold works before, who are in need of some extra cash or cash injection, are putting works onto the market that might, the public might not have seen in the past. Uh, predominantly art, better pieces of art, strong South African artists, uh, late 20th century, are coming out into the market and they're always collectors who are hungry for those works that they wouldn't have seen before or wouldn't have seen if the credit crunch wasn't with us. And so it appears. Take the case of these works by Albert Newell, a little-known abstract artist who died more than 20 years ago. Each work was expected to fetch only around a thousand rand, but collectors were on the line and ready to bid. 90. 23. 24. 25. 26. No, we aren't. Selling at 27,000 on the book, no further bids, BK. In just seven minutes, the Albert Newell works fetch more than 75,000 rand. Now, if I were an investor wanting to go in to the art market, what would be your advice to me? Uh, I would say it's a very good time to buy art now. Uh, certainly the prices tend to be f more favourable, uh, especially uh, on auctions. So a few brushstrokes on a piece of paper can one day be as good as gold.